Morning Year 6, welcome to uh, Tuesday, 9th of February, part of our English sequence. Uh, this week, over three days, we're evaluating how a poet uses language and punctuation and considering the impact on the reader. The poem we're looking at is The Jabberwocky by Lewis Carroll. Yesterday, you read the poem, possibly for the first time, and you explored the use of grammar, punctuation and spelling and you created some personal understanding hopefully, of the meaning and the imagery. So today uh, you're building up to creating a storyboard and deciding on the seven or eight key events in the poem and then create your own illustrated storyboard of the poem. So that will be in words and in pictures. So what does this say? Uh, pause the video and have, a, have a, a read. Can you decipher it? So my question is, is it nonsense? And even more, is the poem nonsense? Well, let's have a go. So if you look at your Google search or other search engine, look at the words chortled, galumphing, and beamish. All three of those words are in the poem. And so if it's a nonsense poem, you would imagine that you're not going to find those words. Have a look, see what you see what you notice. And that's not even to mention snicker snack, but we're not going to go down that chocolate route again. So nonsense to me means no sense, a nonsensical. But I disagree. And, and I invite you to find some sense in this poem. In fact, let's find a story no less. There is the author, Lewis Carroll, and uh, one, a cover of one of the many editions of this book, Alice Through the Looking Glass. Um, and it's in this book that we find um, verses of the Jabberwocky. And so what I'd like you to, to do is have a little read of these extracts, because I think that if you read these few pages, the dialogue in here and the conversation that goes on between Humpty Dumpty and Alice. Yeah, I know, it's Humpty Dumpty, but uh, this is proper literature, mind. So don't go thinking it's uh, for younger children. But Humpty Dumpty is talking to Alice. And through their conversation, they're talking uh, quite a lot about the potential meaning of these words or the origin of the words. And there's a, a lovely description of some of them. It's called a portmanteau. And um, it's almost like double meanings within within one word. Investigate that um, if you can, because it's a, it's a lovely thing. And we've got this this uh, page as well. So I hope that helps in as much as it's it starts to clarify your own thinking. I don't really want it to help in as much as explaining it for you because there isn't really an explanation any better than yours and that's what I would encourage you to do create your own sense of meaning so that uh, you can storyboard it seven or eight I think that the master that I've given you as, a, as an idea is eight but there are seven verses so it's kind of a choice thing Try and create meaning, try and create a narrative 
that's entertaining to you and therefore entertaining to your audience. So here's a an example of a storyboard and you can create this in your in your own your own style in your own book and you'll see that there is a combination of illustration and the writing and the writing is not intended to be a copy of the verse but it, an interpretation your understanding written in your own hand and your own words of each verse and just have a look at these for a Twas brillig, and the slithy toves did gyre and gimble in the wave. All mimsy were the borough groves, and the moan wraths out grave. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jubjub bird, and shun. Rumius Bandersnatch. He took his vorpal sword in hand. Long time the maxome foe he sought. So rested he by the tum tum tree and stood a while in thought. And as in oafish thought he stood, the jabberwalk with eyes of flame came whiffling through the tuggy wood and burbled as it came one two one two and through and through the vorpal blade went snicker snack he left it dead and with its head he went galumping back and hast thou slain the jabberwock Come to my arms, my beamish boy. O oh, frabe just day, kalu kale, he chortled in his joy. Twas brillig, and the slithy toves did gyre and gimble in the wave. All mimsy were the borough groves, and the moan wraths outgrabe. Mysterious goings on indeed. I'll see you next time. Take care.